I want to walk you through how I'm starting just with making dough. Mm. And I know the average person doesn't want to make their own dough, but yeah. it really is simple, you guys. What I've got here is some kamut flour, okay. which is an ancient grain that's really, really great for anybody who's suffering with diabetes. This is really low on the glycemic index. It's very, very easily digestible for any of you struggling with carbs and starches. So all I'm doing is taking a little bit of sea salt, and I'm just using my dried ingredients first. I want to add a little sweetness to this, so I've added some coconut sugar. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my yeast. So I'm just gonna mix up my dried ingredients and I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm gonna start adding in my water slowly to this dish. You don't wanna get it too wet, but we just wanna make a dough. Moist, but not too wet. And then what you wanna do is once you get it nice and thick, and I want you to see this consistency that you're gonna want here. I should probably get a bigger bowl. I got you. <laughs> you when you in my kitchen, I got whatever you need in here. Thank you, sir. There you go. I pour that water Thank out you. of your way, make a little room for yes. you. The same as just making any other traditional flour, except you're using a different grade of a flour. That's right, all it is. For your dough. That's all it is. That's all it is. And you can use this dough for just about anything. I make kamut or spelt muffins, pancakes, you name it. You can use a cleaner dough to make your traditional meals at home. Here we go. So this is looking about right. And you're gonna need about 40 minutes to an hour to let it just rise and set up. You're gonna cover it actually with a kitchen towel or a plastic saran wrap. So it can rise? So it can rise. And this is what you want your dough to look like after you've let it sit and allowed it to rise. So we're gonna get dirty. 